Okay, so I'm going to make a die in SolidWorks, and I'm going to assume you've never used SolidWorks before because it just makes it easier. Um, SolidWorks, first of all, has this thing where sometimes menus appear and sometimes they disappear. So if you want them to stay appeared, you can just pin them down and see now it's there. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to start a new item. So I'm going to go to new. Now, your box may look like this, or it may look like this, and I'm just toggling between the two by pressing the novice button or the advanced button. So I'm going to create a part. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and create this in inches. So I want to make sure I'm in inches. The way to do that is to come up here to the options button, options, and come here. Document properties. My overall drafting standard is going to be ANSI. So that's the one we use in the States. Go to units. IPS, inch pounds seconds, and for reasons that are important to me, I will go actually to three decimal places and it just flashed me a warning that says, hey, this isn't strictly ANSI, so I'm going to call this ANSI modified, I don't really care. It's inch pound seconds and that's all I care about. I say, okay, thanks. All right, so now I've got this blank slate and I'm ready to start creating my die. So it doesn't really matter whether I pick the front plane, top plane, or right plane, so I'm going to just start on the front. And I got my die. Um, a die is basically a square, right, from the front. Now, I'm going to start creating my square from the origin, okay? So I'm saying I'm starting at the origin, now create a square. Um, the reason I want to start at the origin is otherwise I'm going to hit Control-Z to undo. If I create a square in the middle of nowhere, then it's totally undefined. I have absolutely no idea where the square is. It's floating out in space. Even if I know how big it is, I don't know where it is. So at least something on my drawing, ideally, should be situated at the origin so that the computer knows where to put it. Okay, so I'll draw my square in by selecting square, clicking the origin and clicking out. And now I'm going to smart dimension it. So I click smart dimension. I'm going to click one of the sides, pull it out, and I say I want that side to be 0.7 inches, I think. Yes, 0.7. So see, it says 0 0.700 because before I said give me three decimal places. Now I'm going to click, well, let's go ahead and leave it like this for a second. So this is clearly not a square, right? So click check, and I'm going to click exit sketch. Notice that my sketch has a negative sign next to it. A negative sign is obviously bad, 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 bad. This means that I have not fully defined my sketch. So this is a problem. I'm going to right click it, and there's a little pop-up bar here that says edit sketch. Incidentally, as you're going through here, if you're not getting the same thing I'm getting, try hitting escape. Um, sometimes that helps get you to a normal menu or control Z for undo. And if you get really desperate, just delete whatever it, is, whatever it is you just did and start over. Okay, so here I'm going to edit my sketch again. And I say smart dimension. I need to prove or um, enforce that the other side is 0.7. Now there's a ton of ways to do this. I'm just trying to do the most obvious first. Okay, so save, check, check, and see how I've got this little like stoplighty sign next to it? That means I need to rebuild my sketch. So I'm gonna come up here in my big bar, way up here, and click rebuild, rebuild. So my sketch is now, the minus sign is gone. It's fully defined. It's a beautiful little square, although it looks kind of non squarey um, and that's probably because of the resolution on my screen. My screen's kind of stretched right now, but um, I can rest assured that that is a fully defined square sketch. Okay, so now what I want to do, yeah, see it's a square, it just doesn't look like it. Um, now what I want to do is I want to take that square and I want to extrude it. So up here in the left-hand corner, there's the Extrude Boss Space button. So I'm going to click that. Now if I want, I can play with it, like this, or I can just go ahead and type in 0.7 inches. And now I've got a perfectly square little box. Again, I apologize. Um, it's just the way that the, um, what's it called, um, resolution settings are on my laptop. I'm trying to make it a little extra big so you can see it. Unfortunately, it's kind of stretched my screen a bit, so it's not, it doesn't look like a perfect cube, but it is a perfect cube. cube. So I'm going to right click this thing that says boss extrude, and I'm going to change the properties of it. And I'm going to call this my die in general. It's my overall die. And it's beautiful. 
A couple of things to play with. If you want to change between the different faces, one thing you can do is you can hit the control button and then press one, two, three, four, five, or six. And that shows the six faces of my cube, which is kind of fun. Alternatively, you can come here and this will show the different faces of your cube, like that. Okay. If you like the pretty isometric view, there you go. So kind of your typical cube. While you're playing with these buttons up here, you can also play with these. Here's this with outlines. There's kind of the plane. Here's the wire frame with the slightly hidden lines you can see back there. And then here's the uh, everything scene. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm holding the middle, the scroll wheel. You know how your scroll wheel has like some give to it? You can actually click your scroll wheel. This is me clicking my scroll wheel and moving my mouse around. Like that. So I'm going to go back to my... No, not that. So I just clicked something I didn't like. So I'm going to hit escape. And if I hit escape enough, I hit it twice there, it went away. Okay. Go back to my isometric view. And that just looks weird, so I'm going to go here. Okay. So my next step is I'm going to arbitrarily choose a side. And I'm going to decide that that's going to be my one. Okay. So I want to be able to look at this head on. So I want it to be orthogonal to it. I want to be normal to it. So I'm going to right click that face and click the normal two button, which is a plain blue face with a, red, with a black arrow pointing straight up. So now that pulls that to where it's looking at me directly. Now I want to create a sketch on this. I don't want to edit the sketch. I'm completely happy what's already there. There's already die. It's beautiful. I'm happy. What I really want to do is I want to create a new sketch on top of it. So that's what I'm going to cl click on. It doesn't actually say new sketch, but it means sketch. Now the sketch I'm going to add is now going to be a circle. So here's my circle. Again, sorry for the, the ickiness of the, the picture. Um, just the way it goes. So I click OK. See, it's not fully defined. It's just not a happy circle. And it shouldn't be because I have no idea where it is or how big it is. So I'm going to arbitrarily click the outside of this. Now see, if I hold it here, it's going to show the diameter like this. If I pull it up, it's going to show the diameter like this. I don't like showing diameters like this because it's, I don't know, it just looks weird. So I'm going to pull it out here. Now I can type in 0.15. So the diameter of that circle is now 0.15. Now I want to prove that that circle is going to be centered on that face. So I'm going to click in the center of the circle, click on the top line, pull out, and I want to say that distance is going to be half of 0.7, which is 0.35. So let's say I forgot to do anything else. And I say, OK, I'm done. I'm going to click the check mark. I'm going to exit the sketch. OK, check it out my sketch still has a negative sign next to it. Again, that means that the sketch is not fully defined. So if I want to fix that, because you can't have a sketch that's not fully defined, that's just bad, bad manners, I'm going to right click the sketch. I want to edit the existing sketch to fix it. And I say OK. I can also tell that it's not fully defined because it's blue. But if I want to know how it moves, I can try clicking on different aspects of it and wiggling it around. In this case, if I click the center, I see I can move it like this, which implies that it is not fully defined in the left-right direction. So I need to add a new dimension. I need to define the dimension from here to here and recognize that that dimension is 0.35. See how it turned black? The, dimension, the, the circle is now fully defined. If you hit the F button on your keyboard, it will kind of center or fit, F for fit, it'll fit this, the drawing in your screen area, which is kind of a useful thing to have. So check, and now I can exit sketch. This sketch is now fully defined. So now what I'd like to do is I like to take that sketch, that little, that little hole in the top of the die, and I want to push it into the die. So instead of doing an extruded boss base, I'm going to do an extruded cut. So with this sketch selected, I can either select it by clicking here or by clicking on it, on the actual image. I click Extruded Cut. Now, if you want to see what's actually going on, again, you can hold your scroll wheel down and turn your mouse and see what it's doing. Right now, it's by default trying to make a cut all the way through to the back. 
Obviously, I don't want to do that for a die. I don't in any way want to do that. So I'm going to arbitrarily decide to make this a 0 0.09, like that. And so now, again, if I hold down the scroll wheel and spin it, I can see that I have a little hole right there on my die. Now, so I don't forget later what this is, I'm going to right click this, change my feature properties, and make it say um, face one. So my face one is here. Again, if I want this to be pretty, let's see, that's not the right one. There we go. There it is. Okay. So you just have to might mess with and see which one you accidentally drew this on, and either way, I don't care. It's fine. Uh, just a, not that I don't care. I desperately care, but it's not critical. All right. 